Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part three of the Abandoned Kids Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And in this part, we're still kind of on the goal of trying to earn some money. And in particular, I think we have enough, but we're going to need to buy one of those portable showers that comes with Outdoor Retreat because our um, Amelia needs to have a shower. She needs some more things other than a shower, but she needs to have a shower. And that is one thing that we cannot get in this neighborhood. And if you remember, we are not allowed to put up anything or buy anything that requires walls. And that includes kitchen and plumbing things. The only reason that I am taking exception with the shower is because it can go into their inventory and be used anywhere. So I'm saying it has some portable way built in because that's just how it works in the game. So we have a public bathroom in the area, we have a grill in the area, and we now have a tent which we got at the end of the last part. And the basic premise behind this challenge is that a teen sibling is raising her younger siblings and we need to raise them all until the youngest, who is Eric, is 18. So I'm checking to see whether the frogs are ready to be bred, and they are. And we can do that in both Amelia's and Brian's inventory. And the ones he has here, if I remember correctly, are all pretty inexpensive. So I am keeping that. Well, I know what I was keeping those because in case we want to finish any a, a collection. is So we have one of those. I did actually sell all the extra tiger frogs in the last part. And these fish are all really, really inexpensive. And unless we're really desperate for the money, which right now we are not... I am going to keep them too because once she does learn the vampire lore skill, then she will be able to sell it for 50 simoleons because she can convert them to plasma packs and that's what they go for. So that's a lot more than, you know, the piddly little seven simoleons and five. And I am planning on planting these, which is why she still has them in her inventory. But she's been too busy concentrating on her painting today. She took the day off today and she took the day off yesterday because she still has her cell phone from uh, when her grandfather paid it off. Oh, and the babies are crying again. <laughs> and so this one has a dirty diaper. And Sylvia, I'll assume she's hungry because she doesn't have any green. So she's actually probably more important. The poor girl has to go to the bathroom and she is filthy, 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 and she's hungry. So we're going to feed her first and then we're going to change the dirty diaper because of course another thing with the challenge is you fail it if any chi child or baby in this case is taken away or if anybody, uh, if anybody dies, which in this case the only one who could possibly die is Amelia because they don't let them die in the game. So she didn't actually want to be fed. She's still unhappy. So go cuddle her because hopefully that's what she needed because I'm still not not seeing any any fumes going off of her. <laughs> and you can go over here and go use the bathroom and hopefully you don't get stuck there. And how are you doing, my boy? You are... Hmm. You kind of need some hunger and some... So I also need to make sure I keep enough money so she can paint is the other thing. So I'm going to go look and see, one, what the shower costs, which I find they do get embarrassed with it. So I'm going to stick it off the back of the lot where hopefully no one is around. And it is 335 So I'm going to get that and stick it back here <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> I would put it by the trees, except for that's too close for everybody, for themselves, and then I think they'll get embarrassed. So I'm hoping by having it back there, that won't be the case. And I'm going to go look into activities and skills under miscellaneous and see what the coolers cost. So, cause I know we can make food by going over, but it's just so much quicker to have a portable cooler. So we have their 145, so I will get one of those and put that there. And then I'm going to, I think I can't buy, I kind of wanted to get a bench, but then she'll have no money left until we breed the frogs again, and then she'll have money. Which it may be that enough time is going to pass for that to happen, because the benefit if we have enough money for something, see that's only for one, I wanted it for two. So this is 115 and you know what? She still even has enough money to, to um, <laughs> get the words out properly. She has enough money that she will be able to still paint. So we are going to buy that 
and you are hungry, you're not going to relax, you're not that tired anymore, so you're going to come in here and have a quick meal of some cereal, and then hopefully you'll sit here and not on the cooler, because your sister would like to go have a bite to eat herself. I don't know that that's going to help her hygiene at all, because I can't remember if the public bathrooms help their hygiene a teeny bit or not at all, but we'll find out when she's finished going to the bathroom whether there's any hygiene from there. And, not, and she's not finished, so it's a little bit too soon to tell whether it's going to help her hygiene. It's pretty much in the red. I think maybe I'm best to let her have her shower before she eats, even though... So, no, I think if anything... I was going to say it made it go down, but it was very angry red, and now it's just a very orange. So I'm going to have her take a thoughtful shower so that she can be inspired, because she needs to do one more while she's inspired. And hopefully it's not an uncomfortable shower, because that won't, <laughs> won't help. And she's going to have some granola. Now, I don't know if he sat there on his own or if that was just because I told him to sit there, but I'll tell her to sit there too. And I'm going to see. I don't know how much time has gone by. We can breed the frogs again. Yes! So we're going to do that there, and then he's moving on me, so I'm going to drag it down there. I'm going to breed them. And I'm going to sell them from her inventory because in terms of trying to do fortune aspirations, she's going to be at the point first to do it. So I did that. I started to take them out because usually if I, I don't sell them instantly and then I get a whole pile and I'll take two out and then sell all the rest just to make it quicker. But because we have so little money, I will probably be selling a few as we go uh, until later. So how are you, my boy? How do you need, do you have your homework to do? You should do your homework. Let me look at your needs. Wrong one. Yeah, see, so he's going to need some fun, which we can send him fishing for that. But he also, he'd be good if, and he's still hungry, so maybe, I don't know where we're going to throw these, the dishes. Oh, we can probably buy a garbage, because that doesn't require power or plumbing, so then they can put the things in the garbage can. Let me go see what a garbage can costs, just so that it doesn't get too messy around here. Because I think they pretty much have most of their needs, their very basic needs covered right now because of the fact that they have a tent to sleep in, they have that to sit on, they have the cooler for food, and they have the portable shower that can go into their inventory that they can keep themselves clean and the bathroom on the corner. So let me look under appliances and it's under miscellaneous. And the cheapest outdoor garbage is 155 and we are going to go for the cheapest one <laughs> and stick it over here so that it's not right on display. So when he does his homework, he can also throw it away. So that will be good. And then he should have his shower. Is she not done her shower? That occurred. That's not the best shower, so it takes them a very long time to shower. So we still have money for her to do a painting, so hopefully she makes money on her painting, but even if, and I'm sure she will, given that, unless she, she'd have to be in a really, really bad frame of mind for her not to make money, but it is looking like, oh, she's uncomfortable from the, the gross shower, <laughs> the, the public bathroom, she not particularly like that. Go away, Vlad, we have no interest in you, thank you very much, <laughs> none whatsoever. Oh, she doesn't seem to like that. I think that's because when she was younger, she ate some fruitcake. So I need to somehow get her to have some fruitcake again and eat through the whole thing. And, uh, weren't you upset before? I'm going to go bottle feed you. Okay, you should probably put your food down and go look after your little sister. And you, I see that you got some responsibility up. Oh, that wasn't for you. That was for for Brian because he was doing his homework. Now, let me take a look at Brian. I think he got a B because I do have the uh, the good schools on here for this lot, which once they're all at A's, I'll probably change it to something else. And let me look at his needs again. He needs fun, but you know what? I'm going to let him have another quick meal of some more cereal and sit down. And then you were still hungry, and I know you're tired, but you're going to actually eat that granola. And then you can talk to your brother because he needs to make, he needs some social. You don't because you spend a lot of time with the babies. So you get your social pretty feel filled out with the, filled up with that. And you know what? This is actually a really good time to go into the popularity leader of the pack because we have Be Friendly as an option. And by doing that, we can just get her 
to get the few points that she's going to get. It was actually 200 points. It's not that, it's not that few points. Oh, <laughs> she's a poor girl. It's like a never ending one baby after another. So tomorrow, uh, Sylvia will be aged up because she is two sim days older than her brother because I forced an early labor. So, okay. So go look after, <laughs> go look after your brother. Because he's crying, and you did feed your sister, but you didn't feed your brother. So you're going to do that, and then you're going to give him a cuddle. And I know you need to look after yourselves, too, and a bounce. And you're kind of tired, and you still are hungry. So you may as well put that away. Throw that away. And I think you're going to... I kind of would like you to have some fun, but at the same time... I don't know. Let's go have a shower. And... And you are going to grab another quick meal just so that you're fuller or full. And then you're going to go to sleep because you need to go to sleep. And I just don't really know what to say about him. He's eaten. He needs some fun. We don't really have a lot of fun other than he can go fishing. Uh, he can look for discarded toys. He probably should do that before he has a shower. <laughs> it's going to make him dirty. <laughs> And I may take the toy away from him if he happens to find something that's worth anything. But he may just find something inexpensive, in which case I'll let him. Oh, it's Sylvia who's dirty now. Change dirty diaper. Now, I'm going to have to figure out whether or not that I should be selling their bassinet. Well, I will sell a bassinet, of course. <gasps> oh, <laughs> sorry. That just startled me. Because, <laughs> of course, we have no house. And I wasn't expecting someone to come on the property. <laughs> I think they should be fine as long as they're not sleeping. <laughs> oh, she's looking after the baby. Are you actually going to look after the baby? No, she doesn't. She doesn't want that. Is it Sylvia who's crying? It is Sylvia who's crying. Well, okay, you scared me, but you're taking care of her, so thank you for that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Sorry, it really startled me. <laughs> Oh, I can breed the frogs again. I still... <laughs> so, now do we be friendly with her or not? I don't know. I think we will. Maybe make friends with her. So we're going to go over to social for him. Because he can do a friendly introduction. And she is going to also switch over to that. Even though it will help her with the one she's on. But I find having to introduce yourself. I'd rather get through that one first. So we're going to do a friendly introduction. We do already have the boost from the club being a popular club. And I don't know whether our points, our points have gone up. There's, I find that sometimes when you don't travel, the points don't show the actual ones. But I think as, because I saved and quit in between parts, it, it reset there. So are you going to, you don't actually need to look after the baby because Lilith did it. <laughs> so deep calm yeah she's had that fruitcake because she has a uh wants to complain about it and she did get the introduce herself so we are going to discuss interests and you are going to no you're not going to make a mess <laughs> no <laughs> instead you're going to clean that up clean it up even though that builds your i said no <laughs> are you listening Okay, good. You're finally listening. So, though he's fine to go to sleep because he's not going to get bitten by Lilith. Only teens and up can get bitten by Lilith, by um, vampires. So he can go ha go to sleep. <laughs> I still think it was funny how much she startled her. <laughs> now she should be back on this aspiration here because of the fact that she's done her introduction. <laughs> and talking to her and being friendly will help her. Of course, she has her friends already, so for the friend of the world aspiration. So maybe we shouldn't make a vampire fun. We can ask her if she has a career and discuss interests. I did see enthuse about outdoors there, but now I don't. And she's really, really tired. And we're not asking to turn. That's the last thing we need. We have no walls. Oh, we're friends. Enthuse about the outdoors. She is a medical technologist at T-Pose Medical. So she does actually have a job talk about dreams 
So now that we have made friends with you, are you going to leave us alone? She's pretty muscular, I have to say. No, we're not asking her to move in. <laughs> and I don't think debating the existence of uh, vampires makes a lot. We can ask about vampire history, since she's a vampire. We can do a heartfelt compliment. That'll help her with her manners. And, and friendly. I'm trying to look there's anything else. I think we asked about the vampire history. Brighton Day. I would think that should be something that's polite too, but it isn't. <laughs> and let's see if there's anything else. So we're done with her. <laughs> now, can you leave now? Because we really would like to just go to bed. So you're going to go to sleep. Maybe we can we ask her to leave? Let me look. I didn't actually look for that. We can ask her to leave. I don't know what that was about. I wish they asking to leave. Like, you know, you're just saying it's late. It's time to go. It's not actually mean. <laughs> it's not mean at all. So we are going to see the frogs are in his inventory. And I can't read them yet. But I'm going to move them over to hers just in case he gets to school. Oh, baby's crying. <laughs> Eric's crying. Yeah, thank you. So he has a dirty diaper. How is she in terms of she's not getting much sleep? She stayed up all night. Well, that's because I find if you're up during the night, then the vampires don't bite you. So she's probably better to get some sleep in the daytime. I'm curious whether the tents help with vampires if they're inside a tent. Okay, you got it. So moving the tent at the end of the last part over there. She isn't getting waken, woken up by the baby. Neither of them are. So that's really good. Looking at the time, those frogs are probably ready to breed again. They are. So I'm going to do that and put it over into Brian's inventory. Breed them there. Oh, he got a void critter. So nothing fun and nothing worth anything. <laughs> well, nothing fun unless you have a void critter station, which we're not going anywhere. I do have a void critter station in the... Uh, you know what? She's, she's about to go back to sleep, so she really doesn't need. We're going to bottle feed and cuddle. And hopefully that will look after him. And then have her go back to sleep. But then, of course, then Sylvia is going to wake up any moment now and wake her up. And how are you doing anyways? You need to go to the bathroom, but I think you can do that at school. But you're still kind of tired and you need some fun. So I'm going to let him just stay asleep until it's time for him to go to school is what I'm going to do. And at the end of this sim day is when Sylvia is going to age up. Now, the question I had started to ask earlier is, I will sell the crib, the bassinet. I called it a basket, I think, in one of the earlier parts. But should I maybe take that money out and not actually let them keep it? Or should I use it towards some of the toddler things that we need, like a toddler bed in particular? Okay, you need to get up, go to school. And hopefully you can look after your bladder and your hunger at school. I know it won't help you with your fun, but uh, hopefully the other things will, will work. And honestly, maybe if he gets, I don't know if he'll get an A from today. Oh, baby's crying again. You, my dear, unfortunately, you need to wake up. It's Sylvia. So we're going to bottle feed her and cuddle her and breed the frogs. And now that I think I'm going to sell them now. I was just waiting because she was mostly just selling. She was mostly just sleeping. So I wanted to just get it. There was no point selling it. I just gave them money they didn't actually, weren't going, I wasn't going to use at any point at that time. So, and then also she has these plants, which there's probably plants, possibly plants in the area at this point that she could go and harvest. But she can make so much more money from painting. I don't really know. So she's, that's not helped. Has she got a dirty diaper? Nope. Bounce. Oh, she needed. She didn't. She seems to be needy in terms of wanting attention a lot. <laughs> I have to say, I think I don't know where I want to put this garden. I think I'll put it over here. I can always move it in uh, build mode if I don't like it. So we are going to have her plant, and because she's planting, she is going to go under nature, freelance botanist, and then she's going to go over there and plant them. And let me look at her needs. She kind of needs to go to the bathroom. Her fun's not very good, but painting will help with that. And she is hungry. And of course, gardening isn't going to help with her fun, but that's all right. She's not got a lot of gardening here to do. I'm going to water. But the other thing is I don't think that 
she has enough points that she could get the free services trait, which means that we could hire a nanny to come. Oh, dirty diaper. <laughs> so she can go to school. But we need walls for a house because I don't think that she can have a nanny coming in because right now it doesn't look like she's, you know, able to look after these kids and they might get reported. Whereas if she has an actual home, they should just pretend that the parents aren't there during the day. So, but right now there's no home, so we can't do that. So she may have to skip some school until she's in a position of having a home, which might, will hurt her responsibility, but then maybe doing all the other stuff she does will help her responsibility, so help keep it sort of off, you know, balanced is what I mean to say. But I realize that this part has actually gone on very long, or not very long, but long enough is what I mean to say, and the frogs are not ready. So we are gonna leave it here, and in the next part, oh, we can get these free earbuds. Yes, earbuds, I should say. And I could probably sell them because they don't give them any fun. I do wish they did. So can I place them? Can I even do anything with them? Maybe, oh, I see, place in the world. I haven't actually done anything with them. I remember now that you can't drag them out. I usually just leave them there. So, <laughs> but that said, I am going to, what are you doing? Oh, you're doing that. Okay. And so before I go, what I will do is I will sell them. So we will see how much money, if I can find them, where did she put them? There they are. So they are worth 220 simoleons. So we will sell them. And she has a thousand simoleons. So that's actually pretty good. She, I mean, she's got some painting and stuff to do, but I think they're doing pretty well. We're at the end of the third part, just about to age up our, to our first toddler, so we're going to have to buy some things, and I will make a decision as to whether I'm going to sell the, well, I'm going to sell it, but whether I'll take the money out so that I essentially don't get that as an asset. I kind of think I'm going to be leaning towards that, like she has to earn the money for them, for this stuff, but uh, as for that, we're going to leave it here. Thanks very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much!